hello, everybody. Welcome to the Bridal Society's Wedding Webcast. My name is Lori Hartwell. I am the CEO of the Bridal Society. And as always, I am sharing the screen today with my fabulous co-instructor, Chrissy Thomas. Chrissy, can you say hello? Good afternoon. It's afternoon. Yes. Good afternoon, Lori. Thank you so much for having me on. As usual, I absolutely love when we get together and are able to share some tips and advice for all the engaged couples out there. Yeah, me too. I absolutely love it. And today we're going to be talking about the wedding day timeline. We're going to give you guys some tips and what couples need to know, and then how to work with your certified wedding planner in order to ensure that you have a seamless experience from start to finish. So let's just dive right in. You know, Chrissy, having a schedule, as most certified wedding planners know, having a schedule of events is definitely the key to ensuring that the wedding day runs smoothly. Can you talk to that uh, just a little bit? Yeah, absolutely. And anytime I think about wedding day timelines, I think back to this one engaged couple that I met with who they told me, you know, I really don't think I need a wedding planner. I just want the day to go with the flow. Mm -hmm. And I got tickled because I'm like, yeah, that's the dream for every couple. You want the day to go with the flow. However, someone has to actually create that flow. Someone has to maintain that flow. And that's where your certified wedding planner is going to come in. So when you're working with a certified wedding planner, they know all the factors that go into creating that seamless flow that you as an engaged couple are envisioning for your day. So so much of your wedding day is really dependent on the timeline of all the events that take place on a wedding day. And I know a wedding day itself is one event, but there's only maybe 10,000 events that go into this one big event and they all kind of flow seamlessly with each other. So when you're working with an experienced certified wedding planner, he or she knows how to create that flow. Now, when you try to create this wedding time on yourself, or maybe you're potentially working with someone who doesn't have that experience on wedding days, you're opening yourself up to essentially a really stressful wedding day because they may not know the certain timing and the factors that go into the wedding day timeline. Yeah, you know, and we need to remember our wedding days, they, you, they, you don't get any do-overs. You get to have it done correctly one time. You can't rewind time. You can't go back in time and redo a couple of those portions. So thinking about all of the things that go into a wedding day ahead of time uh, is actually going to be the key. So that schedule is absolutely amazing. And here's the thing. A certified wedding planner knows exactly how much time goes into every single event on a wedding day. They know exactly how to schedule it out. So you really do need to trust them. Now, another thing to think about is the average people, you know, the number of people that you are going to be depending on in order to make this day run seamlessly. So for the wedding professionals, there's anywhere between 10 and 20 wedding professionals that have been hired on the day. Then you combine that with all the family members in the wedding party, which can average between 36 and 40 extra human beings that you need to make sure are in the right places, doing the right things, getting ready at the right times, showing up at the right places. You know, there's all of these people. So now you're looking at, gosh, anywhere from you know, 50 to about 60 people that have to be on the same page. Yeah. That is so, so important. So, you know, Chrissy, tell me a little bit about your thoughts on, on all of that information. And honestly, that, that information as an engaged couple can probably be a little overwhelming when you think about there are 50 plus people who are going to have questions, who are going to have concerns, who all, who all need to know what time they got to be at certain places. And that's where your certified wedding planner can be that point of contact for those 50 plus people. So not only will your wedding planner be communicating with your wedding professionals and your vendor team, they're also going to be communicating with your family and the wedding party and able to keep them in the know of what to expect for the wedding day. As the couple, you can't be this person. <laughs> you cannot be the person that your family members go to for questions, that your photographer runs to for a question about, hey, what time do I need to cut the cake? It can't be you because you need to be present in the moment of what's happening on the wedding day. Not only that, do we want you to be present, but you're also gonna be kind of busy. You know, you're gonna be getting married. You're gonna be having your hair and makeup done. You're gonna be hanging out with your groomsmen, getting your suits on and getting ready. You won't be able to be that point of contact, but your certified wedding planner, they will be. So when you hire them, you're able to focus on what the wedding day is. 
let your certified wedding planner focus on all the behind the scenes logistics. Let them focus on maintaining that timeline and allow you to focus on the memories that you're going to be making for your wedding day and your family at that. And so, yeah, I, know I was just going to say, you know, think, yeah. don't think that, well, my cousin uh, can maybe think about those details and the, those times, or maybe it's my mom's job. All of those people are supposed to be getting ready for your wedding as well and supposed to be enjoying the day. You having your certified wedding planner be in charge of the timeline, making sure that everything is happening on time by the right people. That is going to take all of the pressure off of you. So your certified wedding planner is the expert in creating those timelines, wouldn't you say, Chrissy? Oh, absolutely. And the good thing about a certified wedding planner is this isn't their first rodeo. <laughs> this isn't their first time planning a large event or a wedding day, even though this may be your first time. So with so many weddings under their belts, they know what works in creating that smooth timeline. They have also taken the time to get educated about weddings and the industry itself and how the timing works. When you're working with a certified wedding planner through the Bridal Society, this is part of our course, is that we are taught how much the, the timing of a wedding reception, the flow of pre-ceremony photos, this is something that they have taken the time to get educated on. So they want to make sure that your wedding day goes as smooth as possible because of this. Not only that, but we also have the tools and resources in hand. So we have softwares, we have programs that allow us to create these awesome, amazing timelines. And that, that's one of the a major benefit of having a certified wedding planner on your side. But not only that is we understand how wedding days work. We know that deep down, there's no such thing as a perfect wedding day as much as we wanna create that perfect day for you. So because we know problems are gonna arise, we have backup plans for the backup plans. We can create buffers in your timeline just in case things run behind. We already have a plan for that because we know that the things can run behind, but your certified wedding planner has built this into their timeline to make sure that the wedding day still runs smooth despite any pop-ups or mistakes that may happen throughout the day. That's right. And they know exactly how much buffer time to put in before and after a certain uh, event on the wedding day. There's so much that a certified wedding planner knows. Now I've seen timelines given to me by past couples. And uh, when I compare that to the timelines that certified wedding planners create, it's a night and day difference. Mm -hmm. um, usually it's a one pager that I get from the couple, whereas a certified wedding planners, we're thinking from the perspective of every single wedding professional that's been hired to ensure that this day runs really smoothly. And so ours can be pages and pages long. And what we do is we are able to give each of the wedding professionals their very own timeline. So we have a separate timeline for the florist, a separate timeline for the caterer, a separate timeline for the photographer and so on. But we also have the full timeline where they can read and see uh, you know, all that goes into it. And I think it's really important to be able to see everything so that we can see the bigger picture. We can zoom out, kind of see the whole picture of itself. But for each of the wedding professionals to know exactly what time they need to be someplace, how long they're going to be at that particular location, who they're going to be interacting with at that interact uh, that location there's so many crazy amounts of details that are given so it's really important that you trust your cwp your certified wedding planner because they've been trained to get all of this done so when we work with and directly with your wedding professionals we are creating that timeline together mm -hmm. so chrissy can you talk on that just a bit yeah, it's a team process. Creating this wedding day time timeline is where your certified wedding planner will be in direct contact with all of your wedding professionals to make sure that they know exactly what's going on. There's a lot of details that go on behind the scenes of the creating that timeline. So I'll give you an example. With your DJ, the information that he needs to know, you may not be able to provide him. So for example, what time he has access to even enter the, the venue, where the loading dock is, how long it takes him to get from the loading dock to the ballroom. These are those certain aspects that go into the behind the scenes of creating that timeline. And that's where your certified wedding planner will come in and talk to all of your wedding professionals. So that way she can, he or she can get their arrival times, how much time it's going to take them to unload and make sure that that's going to flow seamlessly with the rest of the day. So whether you have a full planning package with your certified wedding planner or a month of, at some point in the planning process, they will then get in touch with all of your wedding vendors. And it's typically going to be about that six to four week mark out. And I always say the last month of planning for couples can sometimes be the most stressful. 
But this is the point where your vendors are starting to ask, hey, what time can I get in the venue? What time do I need to leave? And instead of them having to bother you about it, they had that contact with your certified wedding planner. And that alone is a time, is a lifesaver, I think. So that way you have someone on your side handling your vendors and all of the logistics that go into their wedding day working with them. And something else to think of too, when you're booking with your vendors, things change between the time that you book with them and sign a contract from the time that your wedding day happens. This is where your certified wedding planner can let them know of, hey, I know she booked you for five hours, but we actually need you for six. Can we adjust the timeline, adjust your package with them? This is kind of how that flows. And I actually was just dealing with this yesterday, finalizing my timeline for the wedding this weekend. My client wanted to add an additional hour with her filmmaker. So I communicated that with him and we adjusted his arrival time. So it's constantly changing. And that's why you have that certified wedding planner to keep you in the know, but also your entire vendor team. Yeah, it really does go a long way. I mean, just thinking about the photographer, it's how many hours of service that, you know, that the couple had secured with them. What time are they going to be arriving? Which location are they going to be arriving first? Um, and then what's the travel distance? How long is it going to take them to get from point A to point B? Uh, what time are they going to be arriving at point B? How long are they going to be at that particular location? And uh, your certified wedding planner is going to be working through all of those things, even down to sunset pictures. Where are you going to be when the, when the sun does set? Um, what kind of adjustments do we need to be making to the reception site, um, you know, for the reception in itself? For instance, do we have to delay dinner a little bit or do we need to uh, push back a couple of those formal dances in order to get those sunset pictures? How long are sunset pictures going to take? Uh, there's so much that goes into it that your certified wedding planners are going to be talking to your photographers about all of that. Same with your catering company, right? You know, what time is your cocktail hour going to start um, and what time is your reception going to start? But is your ceremony in the same exact location as the cocktail hour and reception? So if that's the case, then we have to think about having the catering uh, company set up way in advance because you don't want the catering company to set up and arrive during the ceremony and make a lot of racket and noise if it's all in the same location. So there's so much that we all have to think about. And that's why having a certified wedding planner makes all the difference because this comes natural to us. Like yeah. you said, it's not... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's not first. It's not our first rodeo. We it's already built into our DNA at this point in time. We know how to make all of these happen. So it's really, really important to to trust and work with your certified wedding planner to ensure that they have all the information that that's needed. Which means if you're making a change, an adjustment to a time of something that's taking place, please make sure that you are informing your certified wedding planner of that. Because you have to remember your certified wedding planner's entire job is to ensure that your day runs seamlessly and smoothly and perfectly. We can't do that if we don't have all the information. So it is your job to make sure that you are telling us of any random last minute changes so that we can update that timeline. So each event of the day is dependent on what just came before it. I always call it like the domino effect. One thing in the timeline on the wedding day is going to directly affect the next thing, which directly affects the next thing, which directly affects the next thing, right? So it's knowing exactly how much time to allocate for each of those wedding events. So Chrissy, can you talk on that for just a bit? Yeah, I'll kind of give you an example of how my brain works as a certified wedding planner when I'm thinking about the domino effect of creating that wedding day timeline. So I'm going to start out with the hair and makeup. How much time does the hair and makeup artist need per each member of your bridal party? Why does that affect my timeline? Because, well, I need to know what time she needs to be finished. So that way the girls can be dressed and ready by the time the photographer is ready to start their photos. Once they're dressed and ready, then we start our pictures for our photos. I need to work with your photographer to determine, okay, what time will you be finished? Because I need to let the transportation provider know so they can come and pick up the wedding party and take them to the ceremony. Mm -hmm. It is a full domino effect. And that's how my brain works. It's just like yeah. tick, 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 tick throughout the entire day. Right. And then when I think about this process, it also reminds me of why the term day of coordinator does not exist. No. I can't do this the day of your wedding. This yeah. requires your certified wedding planner to come in six to four weeks before to start that communication process with each of your vendors. So as an engaged couple, when you're thinking of a day of coordinator, this is why it doesn't exist because we have to make that timeline and I'm not doing it the day of your wedding. Trust me, you're going to have that set in, in, in stone before your wedding day takes place. 
Yeah, we're meeting with all of the wedding professionals, but whether it's online um, or in person, we're talking with those wedding pros about your wedding specifically. And we're talking about what their needs are, what they want for you, what you want, how can we make that happen? And it all comes down to really great communication. So your certified wedding planner is not just talking to you, they're talking to everybody so that we can ensure that there's no mistakes, there's nothing left out, there's no missing information. We have to know everything from every single perspective. And it's really hard maybe from for a couple to see it from that perspective because it's all about them. It's their day. And our job is to make sure that we find a way to facilitate that. And we have to do that from our way of talking to every single wedding professional that's been hired, knowing what has happened in the past, what has worked, what hasn't worked. And it's not just a domino effect. It's just that everything affects everything else. It's all touched by something. So you need to make sure that you are working with a professional certified wedding planner. I highly recommend certified wedding planners through the bridal society. A certified wedding planner is absolutely going to know all of these answers. They're going to be able to flawlessly and perfectly create a timeline that is going to ensure that your day runs so smooth. It's going to be like butter, right? I like, I just love great <laughs> smooth wedding days. So your certified wedding planner is going to have these timelines available for your wedding party, your family members. Uh, they're going to already have it emailed to every single wedding professional that you've hired, you know, and at the rehearsal, we're passing them out. We're going over all the details at the rehearsal, talking to the family members and talking to the entire wedding party. Chrissy, can you speak to that a little bit? Yeah. And, and I realized, you know, when I first started this, why I like doing that as a certified wedding planner is because I've been in their shoes as a bridesmaid where I didn't know what time hair and makeup started. I didn't know what time pictures started. None of us did. We're all looking at each other like, well, what do we do tomorrow? <laughs> and who are we asking? The couple. And all 20 of us are like, so what time do you want us to be there tomorrow? And that's stress on the couple. So by passing out this timeline at the rehearsal, every person there knows what the game plan is for the day. And the way that your certified wedding planner will do this is we'll pass them out after we finish. We'll leave enough time to answer any questions. We'll go through that day so that way everyone feels in power because they know what's happening. And I, I don't like that feeling of not knowing what's going on. And I don't want anyone else to feel that way either. When it comes to my vendors or your wedding party and family, I want everyone to be in the know of what's going on. So that's why we pass that detailed timeline out. So everyone knows the game plan. And yeah, it's so detailed. You yeah, know. they're gonna need, they're gonna know where to get dressed, what time to get dressed, when hair and makeup starting, when everything is taking place, and it's so wonderful to have those details at your fingertips, and it's wonderful for all of your wedding party to have that and the family members because how it helps the couple is you're not being bombarded all day long when you're trying to enjoy this your one and only <laughs> wedding day. <laughs> you're not being bombarded with all of these other insane questions from everybody, and I mean that can be really stressful, especially if something comes up. If something pops up that's not in the plan, and that's only every wedding, by the way. <laughs> the fact that a certified wedding planner is on the case means that you may not even know about it because we fixed it before yeah. it even became a problem. Uh, That's why not ha having mom be your go-to person or your cousin be that go-to person. You need to have someone who's knowledgeable, who understands how to fix those problems, who has uh, backups uh, for in their phone where they can make one call and fix everything. You can't, you can't possibly know ahead of time, how much effort a certified wedding planner puts into the back, you know, the back end of weddings. It's so hard to even express that. Uh, but you'll know after your wedding because, <laughs> and that's what's so funny. The, the, you know, there's a, there was a poll out that says 96% of couples who got married that did not hire a wedding planner or a month of coordinator, 96% of them said afterwards that they wish they had, that it was a mistake that they made that they did not hire a certified wedding planner. But I can't fix those weddings now because yeah. there are no do-overs, right? Uh, what you can do if you are engaged right now is contact a certified wedding planner and hire them, get them on the books right away. Certified will mean that they have the education and all of their resources and tools behind them. Mm -hmm. Be very hesitant to hire someone who's not certified. Be hesitant because we don't know what 
what uh, teachings they have gathered? Is it, do they learn everything based off of maybe a couple of magazine articles? When did they become uh, certified or uh, when, when did they decide to, to join the wedding industry? What connections do they have? Certified wedding planners go from zero to 60. They know exactly what to do, especially through the bridal society because the bridal society gives their certified members so much support and so many resources that you almost cannot have a failed event. So I just cannot express it enough uh, to hire a certified wedding planner. Any closing statements, Chrissy? Oh, I don't think so. I, I just know that because I'm, I'm planning a wedding. I'm still, you know, I'm, I was working on a timeline earlier this morning and I know the importance of it. And I know how much it's appreciated by my couples and by mm -hmm. the family and by the wedding vendors, because they know it's going to be a great day because we've got all these items in place. And that makes me feel good to know that my couples feel that sense of security to know, okay, my wedding day is going to be in good hands. And I want every engaged couple to experience that. And that's where hiring that certified wedding planner is going to come in. Absolutely. And it's not that certified wedding planners are going to take over. We don't want to take, create a timeline that you're going to be miserable in. What we're going to do is we're going to advise you. We're going to make sure that you understand how much time certain items and certain events on your wedding day take, and we're going to work with you. And it's not like we surprise you with the timeline on the wedding day or the day before either. <laughs> the certified wedding planner months before are going to sit down with you and go, okay, so here's the rough draft of our timeline. Let's go through it. Let's find out any flaws. Let's figure out anything that you hate, that you love, things that you want to modify and adjust. We're going to make those adjustments. We're going to just make everything perfect. And then we move forward. We do not keep our couples out of the loop. We include you in everything. Everything that we do is for you everything. So make sure you hire that certified wedding planner, make sure that you work with them uh, on your timeline and not work against them on that timeline. Uh, working together is going to ensure that you have that seamless experience. So thank you for joining us uh, on this month's wedding webcast. Thank you again, Chrissy. Love having you here, sharing all of your amazing tidbits. I love, love, love you. And uh, we'll see you next month uh, for the next wedding webcast. Have an amazing day, you guys.